Modern science has learned a lot about the biology of aging. The clockwork mechanisms of aging itself, the discovery of a gene called telomerase that can rewind the clock of aging, indeed immortalize cells, the ability to take cells back to the very beginning of life to rewind the developmental clock of aging, even all the way back to the first stages of human life, profoundly reversing the aging of human cells. Well, we one day see people take, say, cells from the body, rewind that clock and put cells back in the body, put young cells back in the body? Almost certainly. This is the focus of modern regenerative medicine. Some profound applications could be, for instance, in the treatment of diseases we don't normally think of as diseases of aging, like AIDS, the HIV infection. This causes a premature aging, an accelerated aging, of the immune system so that even a 30-year-old person with the AIDS virus uh, has, in a few years, the immune system equivalent of a 100-year-old person. Using the science, we already know we can reset the clock of aging and put other genetic modifications into the immune system of patients and put those cells back into a patient with HIV and potentially curing HIV, not just treating it. But the most profound applications of all this science were from the very beginning designed to be applied for the serious health problems associated with the aging process. The aging of the baby boom population just in the United States alone some 76 million Americans, is thought by people who study aging to be a tsunami of devastating proportions, of huge medical costs associated with debilitating chronic diseases that soak up over 80% of the two and a half trillion dollar a year healthcare expenditures in the United States. So applying this basic science, to the chronic problems of aging is really where aging researchers are primarily focused and where we may make some of the most profound impacts in healthcare today.